On this Andy's Auto Sports Short, we're going to talk about the differences between a single turbo kit and a twin turbo kit, when and why it's a good idea. Now, of course, the main difference between the two is a twin turbo kit has two turbos. This allows you to run a smaller turbocharger set, uh, which will give you more power under the curve, which is something that we always talk about here at Andy's. And that is because the two smaller turbos will spool more quickly than a big single, even though they will produce the same kind of power. Now, of course, the twin turbocharger kit is significantly more complex to install because you have twice the components and usually a little more expensive. Okay, now this is an example of a twin turbo kit mounted on a 2013 Chevy Camaro. Now this is a remote mount kit. It's mounted at the back where the mufflers go. A question we get all the time is, can I twin turbocharge any engine? Well, the answer technically is yes. However, it's not always beneficial depending on the size of the engine. So let's start off by talking about the two different types of twin turbo systems. One, and the main system that you'll see on four-cylinder and six-cylinder inline engines, is a sequential twin system. Now this is where both turbochargers are mounted to a common exhaust manifold, and then they have a common outlet pipe that goes into the intercooler and then into the main body. They spool up very quickly and do a great job. Now the other type of twin turbocharger kit that is out there is called a conventional kit. Now what this is, is this you'll find mostly on V6 and V8 engines. What they'll do is they'll have a single turbo mounted off each bank. They'll go into a common intercooler tube and then out to the intake manifold in a common tube as well. Another question we get all the time is about turbo lag and how will twin turbochargers uh, help that? Well let's first explain what turbo lag is. Turbo lag is basically the amount of time it takes or the pause that happens from the time that you hit the throttle until you feel the effects of the boost from the turbo. With today's modern computers and engine management systems that we use on our vehicles and the properly sized turbos, turbo lag is not really a factor. Especially if you're turbocharging an engine that was naturally aspirated. It typically has a higher compression ratio, so you're still going to have the same type of throttle response that you had before. However, when the turbos kick in, you're really going to feel it. Now, as we said earlier, twin turbochargers spool much more quickly than single turbos. If you have a single turbo that is capable of 750 horsepower or two turbos that are combined capable of 750 horsepower, the two turbos are going to out-accelerate it every time. If you have any questions about turbocharger kits or any other hot rod parts, you can email us at info at andysautosport.com. We hope we've cleared some things up for you today about twin turbo kits, and we'll see you on another Andy's Auto Sports Short.